What's up? How you doing? We're at SneakerCon Denver. That's what's there. That's what's We are at SneakerCon Denver, Colorado. And uh, so, did you guys create these? We did. This is my brand, Keto Wears. We got customers right now. We got slides, we got sneakers. We're all sold out of the slippers we had. Pretty much, we are professionalizing in manufacturing our own shoes. And a lot of them are done domestically. These are also patent protected from Nike by my mentor, who owns his own patents for a design. Dang, okay. So how did you get into that? How did you get a patent, if you don't mind me asking? Well, it's my mentor's patent, and he helped Warren Lotus do his production when this whole wave started in the pandemic. And when Warren got sued, he got sued. So he's actually the one who bought off Nike and got his own design patents. Okay, right Not on, man. Not my patents, his patents, my friend. My gotcha, friend. gotcha, okay. And uh, what got you into shoes, personally? I played basketball growing up, and I grew up in that era where, like, the Space Jams and the Galaxy Chrome Boss were really big, so I started collecting shoes, and then God just implemented this brand into my life after high school, and when the pandemic hit, we pivoted and started making a bunch of custom shoes, because all the factories were closed, so we had to do something. Okay, okay. And uh, you personally, what got you into shoes, would you say? I mean, I would agree with the basketball part. I'm a, I'm a basketball player, so right. basketball, I don't know. I felt like everyone, what, got into tattoos or cars or Pokemon cards. I got into shoes, really. I can feel that. That was my generation, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. all of that. Um, and uh, what would you say is the first pair of shoes that you can remember saving up for? Saving up for? Uh, I remember that. It was uh, the Fire Red 5 from 2013 I released. Okay. Was, they, they released for $130. And I just walked in the full locker and bought them on a Saturday morning. Why did you save up for it? I just think I started... I was in high school, so I was a freshman, and I just think that's when you find a lot of your personal identity, so I just got bigger and bigger in the shoes. It's something I wanted. Love it. All right. What do you think? Mine were... I don't know the colorway. Mine were some Kobe 5s. It was just some basketball shoes. What? My, my mom used to buy my shoes, so I figured, like, that freshman year, I would, I would definitely try and help my mom out by buying my own shoes that year. So that was great. Yeah, the Kobe Fives, Adidas, for sure. I remember them. Um, they were hard, definitely. Um, what are you wearing right now? We've got my uh, Jordan 5 Olympics, 2016. I'm wearing my beat up Kino Jaguar Sabertooth Slides. Releasing in the next two to three months. Got about a thousand ready to be dropped. Be ready to go home quick. And uh, if someone wanted to buy your shoes, where would they go? Really, uh, in this generation, we're on the Instagram, Keto Wears. Hit me on the DM. Uh, hit the link in the bio, and that's where we're going to Okay, right on. I appreciate you guys. What are you guys looking for with shoes in the future? So right here is what we're working on. This is our next big wave. It's called the Medieval Mule. My dog, we're getting into it. What's good, dog? And it's like a medieval type of shoe. Yo, let's go, bro. So this is the thing we're working on and we're trying to take it to a new level. That's the next level right there, man. Well, uh, do you personally like uh, have any say in the design or anything? Like, My business partner does the design. Okay, got so you, he, got you. He does most of that. Uh, I do a lot of customer service, events, manufacturing connections, all that good stuff. Right on. Uh, so what was the name of the company again? Evan Keto Wears. All right, guys. I appreciate you.